everyone, it's Sarah again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to curl your hair with a straightening iron and create big loose curls um, that are really, really popular right now. So, I use a cheap straightening iron, and which I really like. It's really old, but it hasn't broken and it works really well. So I'm going to use this. Um, you can use any straightening iron, really. Um, the more expensive ones are better. I haven't really found a good one that is not very expensive. But, I mean, you're welcome to try them. You're also going to need um, a little clip. I'm going to use a bright green one. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Um, you might want some bobby pins to hold your bangs back. And a brush. Um, you might want a pick like or um, a long handle brush to help you um, grab the layers. And you'll want hairspray and um, a protective spray. So here's the two protective sprays that I use most. Bagoom Gold Heat and Chi Iron Guard. So I can't tell the difference, I just like to protect my hair. Um, and then you'll want a hairspray. So these are the ones I use the most. Um, Tresemme, Extra Hold, Herbal Essences Body Envy. If you want lots of body in your curls, this one's good. And at the roots, it's really good. And Aussie High Hold High Shine. So, you know, whatever hairspray you want, I don't really... They're all fine to me, and a protective mist. So, um, you're gonna wanna blow dry your hair straight, which I've done. Um, you probably, you don't really need to straighten it first unless you just want to, or unless you have like curls already or frizziness. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray in this protective spray. And you wanna make sure you get it on your ends. Um, just spray it through all your layers. Um, I like to lift up where I'm gonna Separate the layers and spray a little. Okay, so once you have that done, you might want to brush it through. You don't have to, whatever you want. So what I'm going to try to do with this tutorial is, um, okay, make sure your curling iron is turned on. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you how to do the first few pieces, how to separate your hair, um, and then I'm going to fast forward while I do the rest of it because you'll know how to do it already, and then. Do regular pace whenever I do the top because if you have layers like me, the top can get kind of difficult in your bangs. And so I'll show you how to make those look really good. And okay, also I know this is a summer top, but I wanted a color that you could see my hair on top of because I was wearing black and gray tops and you couldn't see my hair. So it's the middle of winter. I won't go outside with this on. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so brush through your hair. Make sure it's nice and detangled. Um, okay. I'm going to section off my hair, so here's where you might want the long tooth comb, or the long handle comb, or a pick, and you're just going to, I'm going to do it about three layers, so, you know, you want a little bit of hair down, this might be too much, but we'll just do that, and I also want loose curls, so I'm not going to hold it on there as long as um, I would if I wanted tighter curls. If you want tighter curls, and you have time to let them fall, it's probably easier to do that. I'm going to pin my bangs up with a bobby pin because we'll do those last because they're a little tricky. You like this little... Okay, so I'm going to take a little section of hair. I'm just going to take a little bit here. And, okay, take your straightener in whichever hand you prefer and your hair in your other one. So you're going to clamp down near the root here. Take this back part and go over. You can also go the other way and go forward instead of backward. Twist your straightening iron all the way around to where this part's hanging out the bottom and just pull through. Ta-da! Can you see that curl? So, it looks good. There's a crease here because I held it there too long showing you, but if you do the top layer ones, you won't see it. So, I'm gonna go through. I'll show you another one here. Here's a piece. I got a little too much down here, but that's okay. So again, you're going to clamp it, pull your hair around the back, twist it forward until it's hanging out the bottom, and pull through. Ta-da! Now I have two pieces. See, aren't these cute? Okay, so now... I'm gonna do another piece. And don't worry if you get a little piece in there that you've already curled because it'll just become part of the other curl. No big deal. So, clamp it, twist it around the back, 
and pull it through with the hair tail facing the floor. Ta-da! And like you don't have to wrap it with, when, with your finger when you're done. I just like to place it um, with the other hairs, so no big deal. See, this is so easy. After you do this a couple times, you will be able to do it in your sleep. And it should only take you like maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes in the mornings. Less if you have shorter hair, less if you have thinner hair. So I have kind of medium thickness hair, medium length to long. So it doesn't take, it takes me about 20 minutes if I want to do this look in the morning. So this is the last one I'm going to do and then I'm going to fast forward it for you guys so you you're not super bored, and then I'll show you how to do the finishing touches at the end. Okay, see, so this bottom layer is already done. Here's this side, here's that side. So, super cute. We're gonna fast forward so you don't have to watch all this because you're gonna be super bored. Okay. <laughs> Okay guys, enough of the fast forwarding. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna do now. So as you can see, this side is almost done. I left the bangs so I can show you what to do with those. And I left the top layer on this side so that I can show you what to do with this. So I have little tiny bangs here, but they're pretty long. So I'm just gonna curl them with the rest of my hair on this side. When you get to the top, you wanna make sure that you start at the top. So the curls start at your scalp. They don't start halfway down. And um, don't hold it here too long because you'll get a crease. So, let's do this part. Again, stay with what we've been doing. And um, that looks pretty good. It'll calm down a little, it'll fall a little because that looks a little, a little crazy, like ringlets or something, but. So, again, towards the scalp, don't burn yourself. I've done that. 
see it starts curling at the top so it looks better that way Also, make sure you check the back of your hair before you go out somewhere because it's hard to see the back. So the back will probably have parts that are straight that you missed. So I'm going to spray that a little. Now, another thing is these will fall a lot. So I don't want to spray them too much because I do want them to fall out because they're a little too tight for me right now. Okay, so especially this layer right here. I don't really like this right here, but it'll fall down. So, it's good. We like falling in this case. Okay, so here's my bangs, and basically, you could leave them straight if you want. It looks kind of a little funny, but not too bad. Um, you can gently curl them, which I'll show you how to do, or you can pin them back, which I'm really into this look lately. You just pin back your bangs like this, which I think is super cute. I like this look. Or you can put your hair half up, you know, just pin it back with bobby pins. Super cute. Basically anything you do with this is really cute. You can even put it back in a ponytail and it's cute. <laughs> so this look is really popular. Um, I'm just going to take my bangs. I'm going to take all of them here. You can do it piece by piece. It depends on you know what your bangs look like obviously. I'm going to just twist it a little and they'll come out with just a little volume so they don't look like they're stick straight. So see how they're kind of curled. See you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed my curls with a straightening iron tutorial. Bye.